Our home's back porch has transformed a lot over the last two years. I painted all the posts black, we painted the windows, the entire home was restuccoed, we painted the ceiling, added a bit of furniture, built an outdoor grill area, and more. Now in today's video I will be completely finishing this back porch and just turning it into a dream porch for our family and an awesome space to entertain. So I hope that you enjoy the final video for this complete back porch makeover series. These beautiful terrazzo planters are from Article. They sent over two of the large terrazzo planters and two of the small planters. Article has always been such an amazing company to partner with and such a huge blessing to our family in helping us furnish our home while we've been renovating it the last two years. So I want to bless one of you with something from Article as well. So I'm doing a little giveaway in this video. I'll be purchasing a large terrazzo planter from Article article's website and shipping it to the winner of this giveaway. So to enter the giveaway, just like this video, be sure that you're subscribed to my channel and then just leave a comment down below this video. Your comment will be your entry into the giveaway and I'll reply to the winning comment the day after the giveaway ends and once I'm in contact with that winner, I'll order that large terrazzo planter and ship it to them and announce them as the winner in the community tab here on my channel. So once again, one person from the comments of this video will be winning one of Article's large terrazzo planters and all of the details will be typed up down below. So I'm going to put the two small planters on either side of the front porch steps. I planted some flowers and potato vines in there and these planters do get quite a few hours of morning sunlight so they've been doing great here. And then the two large planters I'll be putting on either side of the sliding glass doors here later on in the video. The first step was to spring clean this back porch. It does not show up on camera just how dirty this porch was. It needed a good deep cleaning, so I was just going to remove everything from the porch clean it all, pressure wash the furniture, pressure wash off the outdoor rugs that I have back here, and just get it nice and clean before I start adding some new furniture and all of the final touches to this porch. This cleaning footage was filmed about a month ago now, so the amazing spring weather had started and we were wanting to spend a lot of time out on this back porch, and I was also going to be hosting a party back here soon, so that kind of gave me the nudge to go ahead and get started on cleaning and completing finishing this back porch. Mm -hmm. 
I'm taking down these string lights so I can add solar string lights on both sides of the back porch. We're here in Arizona so it's sunny most of the time so solar lights just work out great and then you don't have to have an extension cord running down the side of the house to a plug-in. I can just have the little solar panel clipped on the side of the porch roof. So we'll be adding those solar lights later in the video, but now I'm going to get started cleaning, working in sections. I'll clean this side of the porch, pressure wash the furniture for this side, and then continue cleaning the rest of the porch. We use this Dewalt blower all the time. It's awesome, but because the back porch is so big and it was really dirty, I went through like three or four batteries. So it took a little while because I was having to wait for batteries to charge, but usually when the back porch isn't this dirty, I can clean the whole porch with just one battery. use this pressure washer all the time as well. This is the Ryobi pressure washer from Home Depot. I'll try to have as many things linked down below as I can. Sometimes I do forget, but I will try to remember to link everything that I can in this video. So I'm just pressure washing off the tops of the windows and above the sliding glass doors. A lot of dust can build up on those areas, especially after a winter and a spring like we had. It was super windy and dusty and dry. And so there was just a lot of dust up there that I had to pressure wash off. So now I am pressure washing off the outdoor furniture. The cushions on these chairs are really Really easy to clean with a pressure washer. I didn't think it would work so well to have a chair with white cushions here in dusty southern Arizona, but it's actually worked out great. These cushions were really brown and dirty, but no matter how dirty they are, I can always get them nice and white again with this pressure washer. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see the completed back porch. We just love how it turned out. Such an amazing space. This is a 1500 square foot back porch. So it's a lot of porch to clean and to decorate and everything. So this has definitely been a work in progress for a long time. So I blew off the other side of the porch and then did some pressure washing over there as well. I didn't film all of the cleaning on that side of the porch just because you already saw me do so much cleaning on the other side of the porch. Those table and chairs and rug, we did just add those recently probably about two or three months ago. The table and chairs is from Article. The table and the rug are the same ones that we have in our dining room. If you haven't seen our dining room makeover video, I'll be sure and link that down below. So now I'm cleaning off this fire pit table here, just wiping off all of the dust and the dirt. And then we'll skip forward about a week later when we unboxed the new sectional from Article.
I've got my two little helpers helping me set up this sectional from Article. They sent over this taupe gray outdoor sectional. It's beautiful. It's a large, great size to fill up this space. My husband has a large family. We just had a party here the other week and we had about 28 people on the back porch. So this sectional was just great. It could seat a lot of people. It's really comfortable. And I love how it has this unique look to it with the black netting. You've also got storage underneath these wide handles that you can put cups and plates on. It's really oversized, so a great sectional to just curl up outside. We've taken naps on this couch. It's just such a great addition to the back porch. Now that other smaller black sectional that we had here previously, so many things that we didn't like about that sectional. First thing is that it is in so many pieces. Each little section is a different piece, so it was constantly coming apart and moving when you had a lot of people sitting on it. It had a lot of little cushions on it that were always blowing off in the wind, so we love this new one from Article because it's just two big sections. You do have the corner piece, but they're all solid. They connect underneath. You've got just the two long cushions on either side, so not a whole bunch of little cushions that are going to fly around everywhere. And the previous sectional was completely enclosed so there was a lot of spiders and little critters hiding underneath of there so I like that this new sectional from article is open underneath we can see all the way underneath nothing can hide under there no spiders or anything that old sectional we are going to use it to stage the patio at the flip house so I can set it up down there I'm going to clean it and then just set it up for staging and photos added this small natural lantern from article to the top of the table here this does come with the light bulb you just have to add three AAA batteries it's got a little switch on the top to turn it on and then these two candles are from at home they're citronella candles I put them here on the table but then I did end up putting one over at the couch as well up the first set of solar string lights for the back porch these are from bright tech and I do have two or three strands of these on the front porch and I've had those for quite a few years really love them so I wanted to buy the same brand for the back porch I got three strands of these I added two here today and then I decided I wanted to add a third strand so that it would go all the way over the grill area so I'll add that later on in the video but for now I'm just adding the first two strands here so for the little solar panel it comes with a clip and also a stake so you could put it down in the dirt if you wanted to if you have it out away from a building that you can't clip it to but I just just always clip mine on the edge of the porch and I love these they're so great you don't have to worry about an extension cord coming down the side of the house like I said and we have a lot of sun so these just work out great okay so now about this grill area we built this last year and then over the winter time we noticed that where all of the boards joined together they separated a little bit so you can see unpainted wood in all of the cracks so I was going to have to do some touch-up paint to this 
this, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to repaint the whole thing because the color didn't turn out how we wanted it to. Originally, we were hoping that it was going to be a dark gray color, and it ended up being this light gray, almost bluish color. So I got this black paint from Ace Hardware, and I just repainted the whole thing. It didn't take that long just because it already had two or three coats of paint on it. It was already primed, and this paint was supposed to be black, but it does look a little bit dark gray, but we love it. It's a much better color than it was previously, and it's more of a statement piece up against the house now, and it goes well with the stained wood on top. So once I was completely done painting this, while I was waiting for it to dry, I unpackaged this outdoor runner rug from Boutique Rugs, and you can get 60% off and free shipping on any rug on their website with my code HAPPY60, so I'll have the link for this rug and my code typed up down below, but this was just the perfect rug to go here in front of the sliding glass doors. I placed these two large planters and some weights on the corners of this rug just for about 24 hours to get the edges of it uncurled and then I stocked this fridge with drinks we were going to be having a party that weekend so I paused on the back porch makeover to get the food ready and everything because I think this was Saturday morning and we were going to be having the party Sunday afternoon I had all of the food on top of this grill area and then the fridge was stocked with drinks so this area just works out great when we have people over here on the back porch If you saw last week's video, then you already saw us put together these egg chairs on the back porch. And if you missed that video, I'll be sure and link it down below. We give our fire pit area a makeover, plant a garden, put together these chairs, and just work on some outdoor projects here at our house. So I'm hanging up the third set of solar string lights, and then I'm going to be adding some faux plants and a tree here to the back porch. I have to do faux because obviously anything on the back porch isn't going to get any sunlight and all of these faux plants are from Nearly Natural. All of the faux trees and plants inside of my house are from Nearly Natural. They are so realistic looking, the most realistic faux plants I've ever seen for sure, and they even feel realistic as well. I've partnered with them a lot and they've sent over plants for my home, which I'm really grateful for, and I was excited to add some of their plants here to the back porch. The two that I have in the large pots by the sliding glass doors, I showed those in a previous video video I used to have them at my back door and I decided to move them here and then I also added this tree to the corner that tree was their royal ficus artificial tree and then beside this chair I'm going to add their spiked agave in the sand colored planter so I will just have the links for everything down below in the description box
these two lanterns are from at home and it may vary where I keep these and this greenery but for now they're here on top of the grill area. This little lizard was hanging out on the side of the house. We usually always have a few of these running around the back porch which is a good thing. They do eat the bugs and they are kind of cute. These two outdoor throw pillows here I found at Target. I only wanted to add two throw pillows to the couch just because I don't want a whole bunch of little pillows that are going to blow around everywhere. That was one of the reasons that we switched couches was because of so many little pillows blowing around. So I love just having these two here in the corner. They add just a nice pop of something to this couch. So here's a few clips of what this porch looked like before. I don't have any good before footage of this back porch, so I just had to pull a couple of clips from a few videos, but this gives you a good idea of the process it's been through, what it looked like before, and then you'll get to see what it looks like now. It is quite the transformation. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the completed back porch. We absolutely love it. It's such an amazing space to come out here and hang out during the day, in the evenings, first thing in the morning, and the best part of this back porch is the amazing view. It's been quite the journey over the last two years completely renovating this house and we forget just how much work we've done until you look back at that before footage. This whole house has just been such a huge transformation and a whole lot of hard work. I hope you enjoyed today's complete back porch makeover video. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to enter that giveaway. All the details will be down below and I'll see you in a couple days with a new video. Bye!